In my eyes, the statement that students benefit more from classes with a large number of students than they do from small classes doesn't ring true to me. To begin with, the first thing that came to my mind as I read this question is that studying in a small class can be very beneficial. This is mainly due to the fact that doing so enables students to receive more personal feedback and attention from teachers, which will vastly bolster their comprehension of class materials. In addition to this, studying with too many classmates can be detrimental, since having too many friends in class is actually a huge source of distraction for most teenagers in school. All right, I only had four seconds left when I was done with the second detail because I spoke very, very steadily, and that means I don't have to say the ending statement. This is the perfect situation to be in because if you have about five or six seconds left, you might have to think about whether or not to say the ending statement. And that, that more often than not makes people use a rising intonation because mentally they're not ready for that decision just yet. So if you have fewer than five seconds left after your second detail ends, be very happy, but always practice so that every sentence you complete ends on a falling intonation and it sounds like it's the end of a story. All right? Okay, so if you had enough time, you would have said, as a result, I definitely disagree with the given statement because we said, doesn't ring true to me in the beginning sentence. All right, let's move on to task two. The writer of the letter proposed that the school should close the campus coffee house. However, the woman is not looking forward to this. First and foremost, the woman mentioned that the campus coffee house is never crowded, so it's actually a great place for students to study. As a result, the woman is always able to get lots of work done at the campus coffee house, and many students actually prefer it to the library. On top of this, the woman also said that the campus coffee house wasn't that great in the past. However, now there's a new manager that has added healthful and tasty snacks to the menu. In other words, the campus coffee house is much better than it was before. Even though the writer of the letter believes that students are not using the campus coffee house as we speak, the woman opposes the letter's proposal for these two reasons mentioned in the conversation. All right, so after my second reason ended, I had a lot of time left since I noticed that I had more than 20 seconds left on the stopwatch, which is why I had to improvise one extra sentence. You will not have to do this if you speak steadily, so there really is no advantage to speaking more quickly than you're comfortable because if you have more time left, you're gonna have to improvise, all right? So always take your sweet time 
and don't push yourself because it's not a rapping contest. It's a speaking test, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be showing you my task three and four sample responses. Stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the sample responses here, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, share the content with your buddies, and if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the job done in 2020. Peace.